Hello guys, my name is Srinihal Tamana. I'm in sixth grade studying the Woodrow Middle School in Edison, New Jersey. But wait, 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 wait. You may think I'm another Nihal. You may think I'm just another person. Then I am the real Nihal, okay? I just got new glasses. My old glasses are worn out and they got more loose and they're many years old. So I had to give up those glasses. So I just got new green glasses. So comment down below if you like them or not. Anyways, today we're going to be talk talking about gravity. But before we even start gravity, you guys may need to know about mass. If you don't know mass, there's no use of learning gravity. So let's get started. So suppose we have two squares, okay? Can you guys see it? Okay, so I... So pretty much circle, circles is the matter. By the way, matter, matter is the amount of... No, mass is the amount of matter in an object. So matter, so pretend this is heavy, but is, this is heavy because it has a lot of matter inside of it. This is so light because it has less matter inside of it. The phone you're recording with is kind of heavy because it has a lot of matter in it. And the case makes it extra heavy because the case also has matter. So phone matter plus the case matter is equal to uh, the total matter. Okay, so mass uh, mass is the amount of matter inside of an object. So suppose this is the circle is the matter, okay? So this is twelve, and then the next one is just dots, 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 dots. This is twenty-five, okay? So which is more? Which has more matter inside? So more matter. Is it A? This is A or is it B? Okay guys, I think you figured it out. Many of you guys may say it's A because if you do the math way, you can put little um little dots inside each circle. So that would be so the A would be more mass. But no 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 no. If you that's wrong. If you explain it in the scientific way, 25 is the more mass. So this has more mass than this. Do you know why? Because in the scientific way, they judge on the numbers, not these um, matter. They judge on the numbers. So 25 has the more mass. Because 25 is more than 12. So I hope you guys understood math because we are now going into gravity. Okay. Wait, let me just close this for now. So suppose I have this, okay? This is gravity, not mass. Don't get confused. So if I throw this... It comes back down, right? Do you know why? That's, I'll show you, wait. So, this is a human written, okay? So, if I throw this eraser up, the force of Earth's gravity is bringing it down. So, the, the, this, this always falls down. So, if I throw it up, the force of Earth's gravity is bringing it down, back down. Sorry, you could not see that. Okay, so, that's, that's what the Earth's gravity does. But now we'll talk with how... The, how Earth is in even orbit and why Earth is not just wandering off in space. That involves a lot of gravity in it. So, suppose this is the sun. Okay, I'll just label it sun. And this is the Earth, okay? This this is the Earth. And that's the moon, okay? Pretend. So, the Earth is in orbit around the sun because of the sun's gravitational pull. The sun's gravity is so strong that it, it's bringing Earth and the other planets towards it. So it's bringing, Earth, it's bringing Earth towards the Sun. But Earth is managing to stay in orbit around the Sun. So the Sun's gravity is bringing it. Bringing it. So that's the Sun's gravity keeps the Earth in orbit around the Sun. The Sun's gravitational pull. The Sun's gravitational force. Okay, now let's see what happens if the Sun's gravity was gone. This would be a different story. So suppose this is the Sun, okay? And this is the Earth. This is what would happen. No more gravity, no more orbiting. The Earth would just go like this. It would go like that. And then it would escape. It would go out of orbit and it would escape the solar system. And it would become very cold here. But there's no gravity, right? How can Earth stay in orbit with its gravity? It will just escape. That, that's what it would do. It, will, it would just go in a straight line and escape. That's what Earth would, ha what would happen. Okay, experiment time. Now let's figure, let's see what would happen if the mass of the sun increases and the Earth, Earth's mass stays the same. 
trick question. You need guys need to know math in, in case if you need to know this one as well. So Prithina Sun's mass increased. If the mass increases, the object increases bigger. So Sun and Earth's mass stayed the same. This is what would happen. The sun's gravity would be so intense that Earth cannot manage to stay in orbit. It will just go towards the sun. So Earth cannot manage to stay in orbit. It will just go like that and crash into the sun. It will crash into the sun. That what would happen if the sun's gravitational force increased. That would be very bad. But hopefully that won't happen. So now let's know another experiment. Let's see what would happen if the sun's mass stayed the same as today and the earth's mass increased. Dun dun dun. The Britain is the earth. So earth and the sun will have the same mass as, as of now. And earth will continue to orbit around the sun as it does today. Since it has the same mass, it can't crash into the sun. Okay, now let's see what would happen. So that's what would happen. Now... Let's do some question years before we end this session. So let's see which will get the most gravity. So the more the more distance it increases, the more gravity it will come. The less distance, the less gravity, the gravitational force. That's why Mars and the Sun have little bit gravity and Earth and the Sun have a lot of gravity. Venus and Mercury have more gravity than the Earth. If, if it's too much, it will be bad. So, so yeah, question years. Which has more gravity? So, which has more gravity? Planet A or planet B? Obviously, it's planet A because the mass. See, the mass is bigger. The, remember, if the mass is bigger of a planet, the, the planet size is bigger. So, the gravity is the same. And for B, it's just only a little bit. So, like that. Okay, now let's start with the last question of the day. Which has the less gravity? So, sun here. So we'll put planet A and planet B, which has the less gravity. If it would obviously be planet B because they have the less gravity and the A and the A and uh, the planet A has the most gravity. So, so thank you guys for watching. So today, tomorrow we're going to be talking about ancient Mesopotamia, our first social studies video. So thank you so much for watching and bye.